Did you know that Windows has a secret God mode that's powerful enough to crash some systems? So it's not only Windows 11 that has this God mode, but actually every Windows down to Windows 7, and it also includes Vista. However, it's only a 32-bit operating system because the 64-bit operating system, when you enable God mode, it permanently crashes your system. And you don't want to be like the one guy who read that it crashes your system, decided to go for it anyways, and then has a forum post on the internet that says, hey, uh, how do I fix this? But what does God Mode actually do? So God Mode is actually just a colloquial name. Microsoft doesn't refer to this at all. In fact, it's actually called Windows Master Control Panel Shortcut. And it does a lot of useful things, especially considering the fact that Windows 11 sucks and it's broken and it's worse than Windows 10. And you might not actually know where things are because Microsoft decided to make the operating system less usable than Windows 10. Like let's take for example, the fact that you cannot drag files from anywhere down to the taskbar. That is a feature I use all of the time, Microsoft. Why did you get rid of it? Anyways, God Mode allows you to put all of these different features that you're looking for into one unique place on your desktop so that you know where to find them, regardless of whether or not you're on Windows 10, Windows 11, etc. Each of these Windows operating systems have their own different settings that you can modify, so be sure to check on that. But God Mode makes it clean and simple for you to actually work on Windows and change everything to your liking. No more navigating through a control panel that Microsoft is trying to get rid of and obfuscate in Windows 11. Instead, you can simply create God Mode on your home desktop and then be able to customize your Windows experience to the way that you want it. So let me show you how to set up God Mode on Windows so that you can do it for yourself. And I'm gonna show you how to set up God Mode on your own body using today's video sponsor, Manscaped. My friends, today's video is sponsored by Manscaped and we actually have a pretty important message for this one. Because one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. And April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, which is why I wanna talk about just men's health issues that are important to me. While I haven't had any personal connection with testicular cancer in my family, I do know that I am raising three sons, one of whom needs me for the rest of his life. And so I wanna stay around as long as possible, which is why doing routine checkups on myself, going to the doctor and making sure that I don't have cancer is very important to me. And if you followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a big fan of the Lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. So Manscaped, in addition to providing the right tools and solutions for safe and easy manscaping, has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Together, TCS and Manscaped are committing to raise awareness for the most common form of cancer in men aged 15 to 35 and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. And you can perform simple routine self-checks at home while enjoying Manscaped products you use every day, like their Crop Mop Ball Wipes and their Skin Safe Lawn Mower 4.0 Body Trimmer. So visit manscaped.com forward slash TCS and learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer or share their funny educational check yourself video in order to raise awareness to help save lives and balls. And as always, you can use our code UFD for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com and you can join the Manscaped movement and don't forget to take care of your repair. So let me show you how to set it up. It's actually remarkably simple. You gotta do two things. Step one, go to your desktop and create a brand new folder. Then you're gonna wanna get this text, godmode.bracket ED7 BA4070, etc. We'll leave all this in the video description. Then you rename the folder to that, hit enter, and then you see it creates a blank folder. But when you click on it, it unlocks the magic of God mode. However, I did tell you that Microsoft doesn't officially have anything called God mode, and all of the tutorials you'll find on this will tell you to use the phrase God mode, but you can create a folder and call it, uh, I don't know, big old poopy McButt face nugget muncher. And then you put the dot and the little asterisk afterwards, you hit enter, and wouldn't you know it, it does the same thing because God mode's not an official Microsoft thing, but everybody likes to call it that since it sounds amazing. Now, while you're in big old poopy McButt face nugget muncher, you'll see that you have access to a ton of options here on Windows 11. And all you need to do is click on any of them and it gives you that option, which is remarkable in and of itself, but you can take it one step further. You can right click on them and create a shortcut. It'll tell you that it can't create a shortcut in this folder, but that it can do it over on the desktop. And you can see right there, add a Bluetooth device is now a shortcut that I can have on my desktop. But the key thing here is that this allows you to have easier access to things that Windows 
11 hides, such as being able to manipulate individual applications with the sound. I don't even know how to get there in Windows 11. I'm sure I could look it up, but I don't know where to get to the place where it shows me each individual application and its audio. So all I have to do is go down to sound options, click on adjust system volume, and then I have it readily available and I can create a shortcut for this. And then anytime I wanna access that, I can now double click on it. Or if I wanna be more you know, resourceful, I can actually still pin that to the taskbar and then it comes up, but I can use God mode to discover this feature that Windows, for whatever reason, wants to hide from you. Or one of the things that people are upset that Microsoft has removed is being able to right click on the taskbar and go to the task manager. You can still get there by hitting control shift escape. But in case you don't wanna remember that you can have it in here and then just create a shortcut for that or you can also pin it to the taskbar once you actually have it up and running but now we can take it a step further by integrating something like an Elgato Stream Deck that allows you to put an application that since you have it as a shortcut on your desktop by just creating that as a button on the Stream Deck. I set up adjust system volume and now I can just press the button on my Stream Deck and it will open that for me so that I have instant access to things that Microsoft wants to take away from me for no good reason. Try Godmo, my friends, it'll help you out.